Generic greetings and welcome back to Airport CEO once again in the previous episode we started the generic international airport set on the Isle of Man near Douglas and for whatever reason I don't know why it just seemed to be an interesting place to have an airport and decided to start building so as you can see we've got a road coming straight up from the south and then we've got a place for the things to be dropped off uh, the workers and all of the stuff to build this thing and then we went for some bus stops and car parks obviously this needs to be expanded and people have said that yes I am aware that's why we already said we're going to expand big car parks here we can do all sorts but the terminal so far not too bad we've got a secure area which is hang on no, that's the one we've got security area back here which is separated by the security checkpoints obviously we'll have security staff on here we've got all the queuing for that which may or may not work depending on which way the planets are aligned at the time of recording and we've also got a way for the passengers that are coming into the airport to get out through the secure area you don't need to be scanning the way out just on the way in we've also got the toilets as you can see male and female we could do some work to that but we'll save that for later um, and we've also got a secure area there. Uh, actually, I'll save, save this for later. I'm not. I'm just going to uh, do that because I know that's um, what uh, a couple of people were on about. And also, we'll have another urinal in there. Okay, fine. We could put some more stuff down here and things like that. Obviously, these are far too big. And when we have our shops, you know, they could have gone there and... Yeah, look, the problem with uh, these sort of games, or not really the problem, but just a, um, a sort of quirk of them is that, you know, the more you play, the more you plan ahead. So, you know, I can look at Prison Architect now and just go, right, large map, and I can just see where we want to have most things. Obviously, there's going to be problems here and there, but for the most part, it, uh, it's job done. Whereas this, uh, it's pretty much a blank slate. <laughs> and then you end up rebuilding half the thing as you progress on. Anyway. So, we want to try and get... I don't know whether we're going to get our first aircraft in here. It would be nice to get at least the runway and some of the other stuff put in. So, we need to get our... Um, we need to get, like, a... Well, I guess it would be this road going along, uh, and then crosswalks across... Can you place crosswalks on these roads? Yes, you can. That's fine. Um, what we're probably going to do, then, is have a... a service road going along here which will then connect up to a small stand like that. Although, actually, as you can see, those are already connected, so it wouldn't be too much of a problem just to place these like that. I think that's what we'll do, you know. And then connect it that way, because I've already got crosswalks, you see. So you could have double crosswalk if you want. Um, some say that you, you're best off going one above and then having like a walkway. I am not entirely convinced that is the case. So I'm going to stick it there and then work it along like that. So one there. These are all our small stands. So these will be for um, these will be for small aircraft, like light aircraft. Whereas after that, you then get a medium stand. There's no large stand, I don't think. Um, but that does connect up quite well, although the exit, as you can see, is uh, right in the corner there. Hmm. Thing is about small stands, though, small stands can actually take, um, they can take uh, jets. You think they can. Uh, I didn't think they can, but they, uh, but they, I didn't think they could, but they, uh, they actually can. So what we'll do is we'll max speed this up and we'll get this built. Obviously, we do need to build our service road up to that, so we will just uh, extend rate that to there. And then we'll need to work on the, uh, the refueling and such. But there's our stands put in. Um, and then we need a way to check in and things like that. Because we'll probably have three of the stands as... We'll probably have three of the stands as maybe... Um, light aircraft... And then the other two as perhaps more passenger stuff. Uh, yeah, maybe have these two here as... Maybe those, upgrade them to an asphalt one. Like that. And then that'll differentiate between these and these. So these ones here are for our light aircraft. Um, which... Actually, we don't really need there. Because people don't get in and out of them, I don't think. So maybe we can put them around here. That might be a better option. That's general aviation. I don't know. We'll stick with this for now. We can always change it. You can see you can alter the commercial flights and stuff. So these ones are going to be for commercial... Ah, I need boarding desks in order to alter them one. Okay, we'll get that later on. So, um, the road here, that's a bit... You know what? I am going to actually upgrade these all to asphalt because otherwise the road looks stupid. Actually, what does concrete look like? Oh, concrete is actually the way forward. Um, convert to concrete... Concrete, yeah, that looks better. It's costing us loads of money, but whatever. 
Why can't we upgrade that one? Oh, we can. It's just it was off the screen. <laughs> and there we go. That's concrete. So the road looks uh, fairly decent now. Okay. So, obviously, these are shouting at us saying, basically, uh, we got a problem. We can't get in there. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, we're aware. Um, these will um, service these things. Uh, so what I'm going to do, we're going to go over to our items. And then we need to have a... Um, don't need info desk yet. We do need to check in. We need a boarding desk. So the boarding desk will be behind. Well, it'll be right next to these. So probably there. Got a four maybe. And then we'll have a big queue. That'll do. One, two, three, four, and five. That's about right. Seems alright to me. Okay. It's a little boarding desk. And we'll have some check-in as well. So we'll have some check-in at the front. Um, we'll have check-in in one, two, three, four. Don't really need much more than that, I don't think. Uh, we can have information screens as well. You can see there is information screens in the game. So I will probably place them... I'm not too sure. Maybe on this back wall. And that's the way they're being placed, for whatever reason. Although, if we pause it, bulldoze that and that. We can do that, and then they're all spaced evenly. Then we can have plants in between them or something. Cool, right. So, there's our check-in stuff. Uh, as you can see, queue just doesn't exist. Um, so, we can build a queue that goes down to... I don't know. There will be more than sufficient. Actually, yeah, that'll be fine. We can always alt this if we need to, you see. Queue. There we are. Okay. Uh, same for this one. Uh, oh, there's no queue. You just sort of stand around, I think. We'll have some um, some seating around here. So that one is connected to that one. That one's connected to that one. That one's connected to that one. And you get the idea. There we go. Right. So all those have now been connectorated. Um, that's... What the hell is that all about? Why is that in red? I do not know. I think I need to set that as secure. Oh, but it is secure. Ah. Oh. That's fine then. <laughs> right, cool. So, uh, that's... So, boarding stand is deactivated, cannot board passengers. It's deactivated because the stand is not open. And we need a taxiway and connection to open that. Right, okay. So, let's get on with that bit first. So... We need a taxiway. Now, this is... I really like this, but it's a little bit iffy at times. So, we need a runway. Um, so, that will be infrastructure and small runway. And, well, they've only got small runway. So, we can have a small runway running wherever we want, really. Um, we could place it like that. problem with doing that is then we getting on the other side is slightly difficult. Um, so, we could have it... about there... And then it means we can have another runway there. Because I don't think we're going to be going further from that. I think that's... Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Let's place it in... There. Okay? So that is our small runway. Right? And now what you need to do is have a taxiway. So when they land, they then taxi to this location. So... We'll have a taxiway foundation, and you can change it to concrete or asphalt. This is... Uh concrete so what we'll do is we'll have it set to concrete actually what did i build the runway out of i don't think i did i think i just placed it which means it's going to be just a grass runway you can up you can upgrade that though so that's fine um we will go for for the time being uh actually no we can't do for a time being because i don't think you can alter the uh the taxiway anywhere i also can't remember what size this needs to be uh Okay, let's build that for the time being. We'll see how big it needs to be. Is there a minimum or maximum size? Doesn't seem to be. Cancel that. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to check the manual. So, aircraft and airlines. Uh, so...
That is... What size does that look? Doesn't say about the taxiway. What I'm going to do, I'm going to max speed it out and then just uh, make sure this runway is sorted. I don't think it really matters how big the taxiway is. Although as thick as the runway would be a general... Would probably be a decent idea, although very expensive. Big outlay, isn't it? Really? Especially when we're going to use concrete on the job. It's going to be five. Size five. Um... It's a bit too, bit too expensive for my liking. There's that runway there, as you can see. We can upgrade that and say, um, upgrade to asphalt, which is sixty grand. Um, go on then. We might as well. And there we are. Oh, that's quite nice. So where's the? Which way does it go? Uh, it would be. I'm not too sure, but there's the landing approach light, so you can you get the sort of stripper light, so you know whether you're lined up and such. And I guess it's either or, look of it. Um, oh, yeah, there are, the lights are actually under that road. Oops, let's just delete part of that road then. <laughs> and then we'll be able to see these lights, because otherwise uh, it looks a bit dodgy. So, come off here, go around. Uh, let's just check that again. It does look like that. the, the taxiway is the same width by the look of it. So, we'll, we'll go with that. We'll go with the taxi... Of the same width. Um, the problem with the taxiway foundation is I don't think you can upgrade it. So we'll probably go for the concrete then. And um, actually, how much is the asphalt? Is it is it the same price? It's two hundred a piece. Um, we'll go with asphalt. So five along to. There. From this end, that'd be five to there. Then five to there, and then that. And you can see it automatically alters the uh, way it looks. That's fine. And this was ten by five. And it was down, wasn't it? There you go. So that's the taxiway. Uh, we could put one in the centre if we really wanted to, but for the time being, we're just not going to bother. So... And that's the uh, the taxiway there. Um, I don't know if it's going to cause jams. It might be best to extend it later on. But we've spent almost half our money and we're not making anything. So it's important that we uh, save a little bit. So, runway node. As you can see, we can make we can have nodes that come off. And what you do is you basically draw where you want the uh, planes to go. And it'll pretty much be that. Um, but also... We need to make sure that these are all connectorated. That's connected. Ugh. Ugh. Close. Close. There we go. Um, back to the nodes. So node this up. So you can see it's actually it's actually altering the uh, the line. See that? Like these bits here. That's very clever. And what you can do as well is, or what you have to do is, you have to uh, have a, a basically a section for saying, look, this is where you stop. So it's going to stop here and wait. And I believe that is correct. Yeah, it's all put in. So, we now need to work on the refueling, which is why I've left a big gap here. Because you might be thinking, why has he left a gap? Well, it's because of that. So, we will have first um, structures and... Oh, we do need a we do need a air traffic control bit. And probably... There would be bad because it will probably be struck by the wing of something. Um, we could have it there. There's no reason why we can't have it there, although I was I was hoping that we'd get we get the vehicle depot in, which is oh, spot on. Look at that. Spot on. That's our basic vehicle depot. And then we need to place our uh, our fuel station as well. So we'll go for Oh, we might not have fuel actually, because we haven't yet got Ah, no fuel. Okay, we need to get fuel. And the way we do that is by essentially signing a contract. So we'll go over to, um, it's in economy and contracts. And you can see there is a building one. But we don't have anything for fuel yet. So we're probably going to have to get, 
Um, oh yes, we have we have to unlock fuel first around here, and the way we get that is by getting a, someone who can do that, which in this case is someone on the board, and we need a procurement director. So we'll open that, and we'll say, uh, where is it? Procurement director, and there's three people. Um, I don't have any clue whether one's better than the other, so I'm just going to hire the person who's the cheapest, and welcome to the board. It should now allow me, one would hope to, yes, start getting things like the fuel service. Now, there's two types of fuel service. You've got the uh, the 100 LL fuel service, which is aviation fuel used by uh, generic aircraft. We're going to call it generic aircraft now, okay? And then you've got jet fuel. We're going to go for unlock on the standard fuel service because we're not going to have jets just yet, all right? And once we've got that, we can then put the other stuff in as well. Excellent. Um, in terms of the air traffic control, I think we will have it probably placed... Um, So you want to place it sort of out the way, but also next to next to the terminal and such. But I don't want to place it so close that I can't fit my fuel station in, because we're going to have the fuel stations around here, and it's very important that you have enough space to put extra tanks on that as well. See, all of this you really wouldn't know unless you've basically knocked your head against a brick wall for many hours and figured it out, because that's really the only way to do it. Um, because, like I said, the tutorial is... Just fairly terrible. There are um, videos you can watch, obviously. Hopefully you're learning something from these videos and also the Steam Workshop is quite good. When in doubt, Google it or look on the Steam forums and also there's a couple of other things you can get as well. Anyway, so there's that um, building in there just polluting the atmosphere. Lovely, lovely. And while we are waiting, uh, what are these? These are... Um, oh yeah, we can actually open the stands. So we're going to open these stands, as you can see. And actually, now that I've opened that, we might be able to get aircraft in here, now that I've opened that. Hang on. Um, oh, no, we, we airport is closed. Probably not best... Uh, yeah, we're probably not going to open the airport until... I don't think it's best to open the airport until we... Uh, oh, get rid of all these spam filters. You can actually get a spam filter. Um, get rid of all the spam, though. Yeah, you, you can... I could open the airport, as I was saying. And get general aviation, but the one to be refueled, so I don't think that's a good idea. Oh god, look at all the dirt all over there. Let's start hiring people to deal with that. So staff, applicants, uh, filter by janitor, and there's no... Oh, there we go. I was going to say there's someone... There's no one here, so one, two, three people. Uh, in terms of security, we do need security staff, so one... Hang on. Oh, you can actually click on them and see all their stuff. So logistics, pleasantness, technical, and handle stress. That's pretty good. Uh, one, two, three, four, and that's the minimum required to run one of these. And what I'm going to do is turn off these. Now, when you click on them, you can see the lines. That shows that this is happily servicing these. You can actually deactivate uh, certain lines, but we're not going to bother for the time being. We're just going to keep it so it does what it needs to do. Okay, so that's now going to run on these. These are already set up to that. We've got nowhere for passengers to sit down yet, but I don't really care. I need to max speed this out and then make sure that in our contracts. Oh, we're almost there. One hour and 30 minutes remaining. Um, once you've got the air traffic control, you can actually automate through operations the uh, the automatic acceptance of a generic aviation, which we will tick on. Oh, it looks like we can tick it on now. I'm pretty sure you need an air traffic control station for that. At least the tutorial says it, but um, hey-ho. Um... Let's go over to operation. Oh no, it'll be in economy. And now we've unlocked, one would hope, yes, the fuel. So contracts, um, we have not yet got... There's the fuel service. Thank you for purchase. Newly acquired fuel service has been procured. So do we place the buildings first? Infrastructure... Fuel depot. Okay, so basic fuel depot and fuel tank. We've only got, when you mouse over that, see the says variation? We've got the AVGAS, or AVGAS 100LL, and that is for um, simply this light aircraft. Um, and we'll probably put it around about here. And then 
Actually, no, I'm going to do that, because then if we need to expand the road, we can. So there's our basic fuel depot. We can have a fuel tank on the back, and you can extra, put extra fuel tanks on if you do so desire. We're not going to bother. We don't need to, I don't think. Uh, but we do want an air traffic control tower, which we'll put in... You know what, we'll put it in that corner, and then it means that I can connect up with this service road all the way to the end there, and then it looks fairly cool. I mean, or not, whatever. Anyway, so there's all that sorted. So, we can now, we can refuel flights. Actually, we can't refuel flights. What we need to do is actually buy some trucks, or buy a truck at least. Um, and we do that by going into economy, contracts, and there's the fuel. Ah, there's a couple of fuels, actually. So, there's... Um, there's n there's nature fuel, there's avi fuel, there's zip fuel. Uh, they've diff they've got different um, like expiry dates. Uh, I don't know what the star rating is, but this one says um, contract between nature fuel and generic international airport. It is a medium fuel fuel supplier founded in 2012. It is Avgas uh, 100 LL aviation fuel for 0 0.005 pence a liter. Wow. Wish my car ran on that. Uh, Jet A1 aviation fuel for 0 0.01 per litre and deliver 20, oh, 200,000 litres per delivery. Automatically delivered. And there's loads of others. I don't know why you would get a a medium. Why would you get a medium? Oh, because they deliver loads. That's right. And how much can we store? We can only store 200k. So there's no point in us getting the medium one because they're going to deliver twice as much as we can store. So it's probably best if we just go for the small one. You can cancel the contract later on if you do so desire. But um, we're just going to get that there. And we will then need to buy ourselves a fuel truck. The Fjord f fuel truck. <laughs> Order now. It takes a little time for it to uh, turn up. And then that should mean we can then fuel these up. And actually... I think with that, once we're done with that, we will be able to get these aircraft in and out. So what I will do, I will... Oh, there it is. There's the fuel truck, look. Yeah. And now what that's going to do, that's going to drop off fuel at this, ga this uh, service station. Uh, actually, it's dropping off and then slowly going down. Oh, there's our fuel truck in there. So, there's our fuel truck. It's all in. Job done. Um... You know what? We could probably... I reckon now we've got, we got the runway, accepting general aviation, generic aviation and commercial. All of these accepting general, 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 and general. I reckon if we open the airport, that'll work. But we're going to leave it there. Next episode, we'll get some flights in. That's be general aviation. We'll expand the terminal. We'll get some bigger ones. I'll actually probably get some... We'll probably get the same stands. What I'm probably going to do is have the runway go up like that. And then have the bigger stands along here. And then the terminal loop around. Something like that. Uh, obviously, we also need uh, better areas for people to be around here. So, there's a way to go as yet. But, I think progression has been fairly decent. And I'm glad we've actually got the fuel all up and running as well. Either way... Hope you have enjoyed the video. Comments in the comments. Let me know where you think we should go from here, what we should do, if there's any mistakes, all of that sort of thing. So far, it ain't a fire, and that's always an advantage. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.